Hello everybody, this is Gregory with Permanent Weight Loss Made Easy, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to talk about another, another victim of the body positive movement, Lizzo, the singer who's losing massive amount of weight and getting some blowback, and it also reveals how the body positive movement's a complete lie. Now before we begin, if you need weight loss help, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. I lost over 100 pounds and I've kept it up for 30 plus years. Also post a comment if you like. So Lizzo, African-American singer, probably most well-known for being a body positive, obese woman, right? I'm fat, I'll wear bathing suits, I'm proud of my overweight body, blah, 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 blah. And so part of the reason she got big, and there's a lot of parallels with Rebel Wilson and Adele, because these were also two women who got fit shamed when they started losing weight. That part of the appeal of Lizzo is like, oh, she's like us, she's fierce, she's an overweight black woman. And we know the black women I mean, the typical woman is 5'3 and 170 pounds, so the typical black woman is actually more than that. So she was kind of a champion of the take me as I am kind of thing. Well, Lizzo has been losing a lot of weight, and it reveals two things. One, similar to Adele and Rebel Wilson, there's people that are hating the fact that she's losing weight. They don't like the fact that she's losing weight and that she wants to lose weight. And somewhat connected to that is it reveals the BS of body positive. See, the body positive movement with their champions will be like, this is who I am, I'm fat and I'm proud. But they're not. They're not fat and proud. Deep down they want to lose weight because either A, it's healthier, or B, they want to get better mates. So Lizzo losing weight is just another overweight person who really never wanted to be overweight in the first place but did the body positive BS because it helped her at the beginning or she was like, well, I'm overweight, I guess I gotta accept this. Because if she was really fat and proud, she wouldn't lose the weight. But she loses the weight. Why does she lose the weight? Because intuitively and deep down, everyone who's overweight wants to not be overweight. We talked about the study about 50% of Americans who are overweight would gladly take a year off their life if they could be thin. And 15 to 20% would gladly have a special ed child or live with only one arm if they could be thin the rest of their lives. And we know that with Ozempic and other semi-glutenides how popular those are right now that people are dying to lose weight. So Lizzo wanted to lose weight, good. I just wish that celebrities who were overweight, because you see this like Kirstie Alley back in the 80s, Oprah, all these, they'll be like first magazine. They're, they're on, where they're body positive, before the term body positive even existed. You know, I'm, I'm big and I'm proud, I'm comfortable with who I am. And then they'll come out later on, like a year later after they've lost some weight. I was going through a dark time and now, now I'm in a clearer time. Why don't you just admit, I just love the refreshingness of somebody. Be like, yeah, I'm overweight, I don't like to be overweight, I wanna lose weight, it's unhealthy for me. Um, honestly, men find me be more repulsive or less attractive. I need to lose weight, but I have childhood demons that I need to get rid of and I got to stop drinking or whatever it is. How refreshing would that be? But if you did that, the body positive crazy leftists would come out and attack you. You should be afraid of who you are. Da, 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 da. Because first of all, it's like an echo chamber. Like all the fat, miserable, unhappy women don't want people who are fat and miserable and, on, and, and to, to leave that room. It's like the allegory of the cave by Plato. They don't want you to leave that. They want you to stay the way they are. See, when you have like two overweight people and one of them starts to lose weight or you have like a super overweight person and a, and a somewhat not as overweight person, the somewhat overweight person's like, yeah, you lose the weight. It's great, you lose the weight because she feels superior to the one who's really overweight. But if the really overweight woman starts to lose weight and loses more than the other one, and let's say she becomes regular weighted, she's like, damn, bitch. And deep down, even though she won't admit it, she wants him to regain the weight. This is the frenemy mentality of, of weight loss. And so with Lizzo, I think it's great that she's losing weight. I just wish that people would be honest because the body positive movement, as we've talked about many times, you're not helping people by telling them to stay overweight. You're not. You're shortening their life expectancy. So true, true love and support of this person is telling them, you need to lose the weight or you're going to go 10 years less in your life. But we say true love is be who you are. Be who you are. This is who you are. Be comfortable. Don't listen to those people. Those people are stupid and they want you to stay fat because they're probably fat and they're probably miserable. So Lizzo, keep losing the weight. Statistically, you have a very small chance of keeping it off for a long time. Uh, but you know, I wish you the best. Listen to some of the advice I give here uh, because I've been able to do it for three decades. 
But I just wish we could just blow the lid on the body positive movement because that movement is insidious for people and it doesn't help people and they don't care about the overweight people that they allegedly champion. Guys, post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.